to our guest bathroom. This is the very first room we're tackling here at the Heights House, and we're going to try to get it all done in just a few weeks. The design plan for this space is bold luxury on a budget, and I posted all the details on the blog, which I'll link to below in case you missed it. We'll be DIYing a really cool wall treatment with black walls using champagne gold fixtures and unique tile to give the space a rich and luxurious look. The first thing we need to do is tile the shower, so let's head to Lowe's to see what we can find. Another wild Friday night date night here at Lowe's. You 30-somethings know what I'm talking about. Hashtag adulting. So we're here in the tile section and I'm looking for something simple but still unique. And it has to be affordable because we're on a budget. So I love the pattern of these and I think they'd be great on a shower floor or for a backsplash, but since I'll be using pattern tile on the floor, I think I definitely need to stick with white tile. The shape of this tile caught my eye and I think it'd be really fun to use in another bathroom or maybe a kitchen or even a laundry room, but the guest bathroom will have more of a traditional look, so I'm leaning towards a classic subway style. Here we have the ever so popular subway tile which I've used in the past and it comes in a lot of different sizes. These sheets are great for beginners because they're super easy to install. These ones are interesting. They're subway tile but there's this beveled outline around the edges that make them stand out. My thought is to stack them vertically rather than stagger them like traditional subway tile which will make it feel more modern and completely change the look. And the best part, they're less than a dollar each. We're gonna need about 360 of these and it looks like they have enough. It's installation day and we brought in reinforcements to knock this tile setting out today. So we decided not to use spacers for a super thin grout line which will give it a really clean look. tiling and right now we're in the middle of the final step of grouting. I decided on a plain white grout to blend in with the tile for a cleaner look. And our shower tile is officially done. I'm loving the way it turned out and especially for around just $300 you'd never guess how affordable these tiles are. Just the small change of stacking them vertically instead of staggering gives them a modern high-end look. So don't be afraid to experiment with different layouts. You can do this with a lot of different tiles and it's a great way to make basic tile more interesting without spending a fortune. The next step is our bold DIY wall treatment. So check back in a couple weeks to see how it turns out. 